Hey, what's going on guys? All right, this week we've got another small project for you. Uh, now, before you jump down in the comments and start yelling at me about not working on the Surface Grinder, this actually has a lot to do with the Surface Grinder. To explain that, I think I kind of need a flowchart. Okay, so we start here with the lathe, because that's kind of where this whole crazy project started. After refurbishing it, uh, we decided the bedways uh, really needed to be ground flat, so we had this big idea of building a giant surface grinder to do it. And after a little bit of consideration, we decided that building a small surface grinder first would make a lot of sense, uh, which led us to buying a mini mill and building a welding table and buying a TIG welder. So this is just kind of the next evolution of this process. To finish off the surface grinder, we're going to need to mill a shaft on the lathe. I think the best and most accurate way to do that is to mill between centers. And to do that properly, you need to have a lathe dog. And I think you can probably buy these on eBay pretty cheap, but I figured it was a good excuse for a project, so let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. I know a lot of you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but there's probably a huge amount of people that have no idea what a lathe dog is or what turning between centers is. So let me try and explain that. So normally, in order to cut apart with a lathe, you have to mount your workpiece in these jaws. Sometimes there's three jaws, sometimes there's four jaws, sometimes there's seven. But they all have one major drawback. They're not perfect. A three-jaw chuck is auto-centering, and it's supposed to keep the work concentric, but they're always off by thou, or, you know, ten. A four-jaw can be dialed in, but once the part is removed from the chuck, it's almost impossible to mount the workpiece in the exact same location. So that's where machining between centers comes in. With this process, you mount the work between two tapered cones. This ensures the work is concentric and supported on both sides, which makes it perfect for machining things like drive shafts. It also allows you to remove the work, test fit, and mount the work back in the lathe and have it be in the exact same spot. Now, there is one major problem with this setup, and that's how do you transfer the power of the lathe to the workpiece. You might think there's enough friction between the cone and the work, but there really isn't. That's where this thing called a lathe dog comes in. It's a simple device that clamps onto your work with a set screw and has a leg that sticks out and gets pushed by the chuck. Okay, that was way too much explaining, so let's just start building something and hopefully it's going to make sense by the end of the video. All right, so we're gonna start with this three quarter inch plate steel. We'll make it out of two pieces and TIG weld it together. Now I'm gonna rough out the shape on the bandsaw, but then clean it up on the mill. Dale at Building Something Cool showed us this technique for milling a radius on a center pin. It's a little time consuming, but it works surprisingly well.
that turned out pretty nice. Let's try it out. Ryan has this old ER16 collet holder that we want to use with our mill, but the shank is one inch and the biggest R8 collet we have is three quarter inch. So let's mill between centers. This steel turned out to be some pretty hard stuff, so it will take a lot of small cuts and finish it with a file. Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode. I know it was a bit of a smaller project, but I hope you guys appreciate it. I wanna give a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. Uh, you know, the way YouTube monetization has been lately, it's not really a reliable source of income for this channel these days. Uh, so the support we get on Patreon makes a huge, huge difference. Uh, so if you guys aren't already supporting me on Patreon, maybe think about doing that. It really helps us out. Um, it'll let us do more projects more often, which is always the goal here on this channel. But that's gonna do it for this time. See you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.